So, it's been five minutes, well, six minutes to be exact, and here goes nothing. Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Planazoid. Make sure you subscribe down below to become a Zoidy and you can be notified of when I post new videos and content ideas as well as inspo. So in today's video, I will be doing a product review. First off, can I just have a round of applause? Because I want to say this is one of my first times that I actually purchased something where it's still pretty much new. And I thought it was perfect because the price wasn't too bad and it gave me a chance to put out a video and an honest review before more people try to get it. So this is the Thermal Cinch by We Are Makers and it's supposed to be like a thermal heating book binding machine. So I don't know, I just thought like, oh my God, it's still new. It's been out for like what, like a couple months now? And it's supposed to come to stores, I think in March. I don't know, look it up and make sure. But I was watching one of those live hobby channels and they were like showing this and that's what they said. So you might have to look into that, but it's not in stores right now, but it's supposed to be coming to stores. I've only been seeing it online. So HSN has one online for $89. Don't know if the price changed when I checked, that's what it was. And Amazon, I purchased this for $99, which that's where I got it from Amazon. So they have a mint color as well as a pink color. And you know I had to get the pink color because it matches my room. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open and do a quick demo, see how to use it, see my thoughts on it. And yeah, let's try this before you buy it. So this is the box right here, first off. Cute packaging, they never miss with the packaging, so nice. And this is the back of the box, which you know just shows what it is or whatever. And then, can I tell y'all something? So, when I first got this, it was in a huge box. I thought this was gonna be a huge, heavy machine, it's not. Someone mentioned that it felt cheap. So I'm not saying it feels cheap. I don't know yet till I open it. But when I held up this box, actually the first time when I picked it up from the post office, I was shocked. I thought the box was empty. So this is extremely lightweight. And I guess that's probably good because no one wants to carry a heavy machine. But it's also probably easy to put away too. So, I mean, at least it's lightweight, so that's good. Oh yeah, this is really lightweight. Look how I just pulled it out with one hand and I have a shoulder injury, so extremely lightweight like they said. Okay, so here's the contents of the box. So you have the instructions, like the little diagram of how to use it. And then you have, it looks like three spine binders. And then of course you have the machine. Now, I know for certain places, I just forgot where, um, they do come with a bigger bundle with more stuff. I don't know if that's still going on, but I know if you get the pink one, this is all you get. So there you go. You only got a couple chances to get it together. <laughs> so I was trying to actually look for some extras, like extras of the spines and extras of like, I don't know, tape or something adhesive and I didn't really see it, so I don't know if I'm looking in the wrong places or they haven't really put it out yet, but yeah, you're probably gonna need some extras. And then, you know, you also could probably take your own scrap paper and do this yourself too. You might not have to, you know, spin an arm and a leg just to get a couple of items. So there's that. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the 
parts anatomy of the machine. Okay, so now I have the machine plugged in. Let me go ahead and cut it on. And then move the, this is the cooling tray, move it over here. So when you cut it on, there is a light in the front. There is this button right here, which is timer. And then I almost forgot um, in the front of it right here, it says, like the instructions, so it says plug it up. Blinking on light will beep when the machine is ready. Place books in machine and press timer. Blinking light will beep when book is ready. So basically, I'm listening for some beeps. So it's supposed to go for, I believe, two minutes, and then you let it cool for five minutes. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what it says. Select your binding spine and trim to desired book length. Okay, so this is the spine I selected. Thought it was so cute. I love this mint color. Spring is coming, so it's just perfect. Also, it came with this one binder clip. Well, I couldn't have come with more, but you know, okay. So when I did look at a couple of demo videos, not too many, I don't like to be spoiled because I wanted to be my first impression too. I saw some other people had extra binder clips. So I got me some extra binder clips just in case the one doesn't do. And it's so pretty too. They could have included a couple more. These are cute. I will put them in my planner just cause. And I think the bundle I have, not bundle, but you got ready fast. I think the, what is it called? I guess like the package I have is the Retro of Spring, I think. They have like different ones you can choose from. But I do think all of them only come with like three, so okay. So like I said, Spring's coming. I thought this would be perfect. So the way it's set up, I hope you guys can see it, is that there's this strip down the middle. I believe that's where your pages would go and that's where the thermal binding would happen. And then over here you have these two adhesive strips. So this goes like around the front and the back of your book. So it even has like score lines. So I'm assuming since it's set up this way, this is gonna be a pretty skinny book. And the size I'm doing is probably gonna be like a half letter size. It's approximately that. And these are the covers that I chose. So I'm gonna do this acetate cover as well as this cardstock. And then the back is just cardstock. Um, someone said that it works for acetate too. So I wanted to just go ahead and try to test it out in one go. So let's see if the pages I have is a good enough size. Wait a minute. On my first go, I think the pages are already a good enough size. I just grabbed a little pile. Oh look, okay, I think it fit. Yeah. So you'll simply just take your pages and yeah, it just goes right in the middle. Before I do that though, they want me to cut this to fit the book. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure and cut really quickly to get this to fit. I want to say this is the perfect amount. I don't feel like counting, so. I think I'm gonna hold this together with a binder clip to make adding it easier. Yeah, one thing I saw her do on the live showing or whatever, she took off the back part first. So I'm probably gonna do that. Go ahead and take off this back adhesive.
So I attached the book together and I really hope that I did it right because I see a small gap. So I'm like, did I put enough pages? But I guess we'll see when we put it in the machine. So I put it all together and up close, this is what it's looking like so far. And then number four, insert any accessories by hearing, okay. So if you want to add bookmarks, ribbons, stuff like that, which I'm not doing. Plug in the machine, flip the power, did all that. The indicator light will stop blinking and beep, which it just did. So it is ready now. Place book in machine and press timer. Okay. And now I'm going to put it inside. And remember, I showed you how close the inside looks like. So the book is just supposed to slide in between the two grooves that's inside and the two grooves will open. And at the bottom is the heat plate. So go ahead and put it inside. And press the timer. So now the light is blinking and when it finished, it will beep and stop blinking. So it just beeped, so that means it's ready. I hope, so now it's time to take it out. <laughs> I'm nervous, hopefully it looks good. So let's just pull it out like it says, and then we're gonna put it here. Oh, you know what I forgot to do too? The lady on the thing was like, tap your book. The lady on the life, TV showing, you know, on the shopping channel. She said tapping your book will allow the glue to like spread out better. Is it true? I don't know. I don't remember exactly how she did it because you got the instructions right. But then when she was doing the demo, you know how they show extra tips and stuff. So she had time to try it and do a bunch of experiments. So I don't know what order she did the tapping. I feel like I should have also did it before, but I know for a fact she also did it after when the glue and all that settled because she said it'll help disperse it better. I don't know. So, it's been five minutes, well, six minutes to be exact, and here goes nothing. Oh, well, something happened, that's definitely for sure. Let me take these off. It's not perfect, but something happened. And actually, I think they said if it didn't bind right the first time, just put it in there again. But let's see, here's the test. Oh well, it seems like it's bonded together. Yeah, here's the real test. This is how you know if a book is actually really good. Oh, oh! Well, the rest of the page is stuck though. So I probably should have did the tapping thing like before putting it in the machine, but overall, I mean, it did adhere the pages and it looks really good actually. I think I need to just get some more practice out of it. Probably go back and look at the live showing or some more videos now that I actually have it and actually get some tips, but it didn't do too bad for my first time. Let me actually show you up close because I think what I need to do better next time is add more pages. I didn't add enough pages. It looks like I did, but yeah. So right here, it's a little gap. I hope you guys can see that little hole right there. So yeah, maybe I didn't put enough pages because there's also a gap here. Also, I probably could have cut the spine down some. Yeah, there's a lot of things I see that I could do differently the next time I make a book. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try one more time because I do have a small piece right here. 